Hello again, Wolfpack. Welcome to this mm, part two of this sneak peek of Dynasty Warriors Seven Empires. The Zandros, the Warrior High Alpha. Let's have a look at these wallpapers of all the characters, shall we? Shahu Dune, Dion Wei, John Liao, Sao Sao, Zhu Xu, Shahu Yuan, Chu Huang, Zhang Hei, Sao Rin, Sao Pei, well, Sao Pi, Zen Ji, Sai Wen Ji, Jia Xu, Pang De, Wang Yi, Bo Jia. And with their iconic look, well, with their iconic weapons, of course, it is very f interesting to see them in their iconic weapons. Even though some carry a clone weapon, of course, I'm used to that. <laughs> Very cool. Very nice. Ah, Daring Gambit. How very cool. Ah, okay. Very nice. Hmm, I hope you guys can see well. Oh, there we go. I don't know, I can, it's like I can see the difference. I don't know, the resemblance of Sao Sao and Virgil. I don't know why. Like, I can definitely see almost a resemblance, like, almost an ancestor type. I don't know, it's my own kind of a fan opinion. My own thing. Yep. Special. Ooh, now that's really cool. Ten year anniversary of Way. Ah, they're iconic. <laughs> Dynasty Warrior 6. Costume look. Joe Yu, Lu Xun, Sun Shang Cheng, Dan Ning, Sun Jian. I mean, seriously, I can just like, I totally see the resemblance of Sun Jian and Dante. 
I don't know if I'm seeing things or not. I might be losing it. Oh, a Tai Chi Su. Lu Meng. Huang Lai. Zhou Tai. Ling Tong. Sun Tse. Sun Quan. Xiao Kiao. Da Kiao. Ding Feng. Lian Shi. That's really cool. Seeing them, seeing them with their weapons. Yeah, and I'll say it before, and I'll say it again. Plenty of them got a clone weapon, so it's really fun. It doesn't piss me. It doesn't piss me off a lot. I mean, it's kind of. Well, I'd say not weird, but it's really, really fun, entertaining. You see? Yep. Ah, yeah, it's nice seeing Sensei wearing, well, having his tumpas again. So Quan's sword was most likely a wolf sword. Huang Gai's weapon was a, his, his original weapon was a iron rod with a shield on it. Same with Sun Jian's weapon, his was like a sword, like King of Wu sword. Dan Ning's weapon, on the other hand, he had a sword too. I don't know why he changed it. Joe Yu had a sword. He had a sword as well. I mean, Xiao Kiao and Da Kiao, they've always had their iron fans. I never really. I never really saw them with other weapons before. I don't know. Ding Fang, on the other hand, he's wearing Manquo's battle gauntlets. His is the circle blade, his weapon. Ah, Lian Shi's weapon she is carrying it is the crossbow. I mean, those. Two are still like still fresh faces to me. I'm still trying to get used to them a little bit more. Even though I played Dynasty Warriors, uh, Eight Empires, Extreme Legends, not Eight Empires. I mean that's that was like way later after high school. Characters, I mean, look and clothing of dressing. I mean, I find it very fascinating and treat. I mean, how each character has their own style of clothing, and it's really fascinating, very cool. I find it like an awe inspiring, you know. It's got that very cultural Chinese 
uh, how should I put it? Very battle style. Now that's really good. Very good picture. Special. Ah, they put Doc Cal in there. Okay. And there's the rest of the others in their Dynasty Warriors 6 costume look. I mean, Pong Day's first appearance was in 5. Same with Sal P. Same with uh, Ling Tong. Okay, on to Shu. So I, I would call all of them as the Phoenix Warriors. And these, the Tiger Warriors. And these are the Dragon Warriors. Shu. Okay. Zhao Yu, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Zhuge Liang, Liu Bei. Oh man, it's like I'm seeing things again. It's like I could see Nero and Liu Bei, kind of the resemblance. Oh man, I must be losing my mind here. Sorry about that. Ma Chao, Wang Zong, Wei Yang, Wan Ping, Tang Tong, Yuan Ying, Jiang Wei. You know, that really disappoints me that he wasn't in six. He was in 5 as well, and 4, but he wasn't in 6. Liu Shan. The same with Xin Kai. She was supposed to be in 6, but she wasn't. That did disappoint me as well. How would she would have looked like? Ma Dai? Guan Suo, Bao Sun Yang, Su Xu, it's really nice to see their iconic weapons every time I look at these wallpapers. I mean, some have a clone weapons, which is, that's, that's alright. I mean, it's normal to me. Yep. Very cool. Very nice. Oh, mama. Ooh. I knew it. <laughs> because she is holding that Excelsior staff. She's not holding her iconic weapon. Unless it's the Oblivion weapon. It's so good to see him again. I mean, Liu Shan is still a, f a new face. Still a fresh new face to me. 
Same with uh, Zine. Jane Zine Kai. Same with Madai. Same with Guan Suo. Bao San Yang as well. Zhu Xu as well. <laughs> Very nice. Just like his father. <laughs> they're not brothers, if I'm not, if I recall. I think they're cousins. Yeah, they're cousins. Ma Chao and Ma Dai. Oh, she's got a butterfly tattoo. Neat. Ah, seeing him with his hoodie on is really... Lone Wolf right there. <laughs> like a lone dragon. Interesting. Maybe I should plan on... Looking well, watching every cutscene of Dynasty Warrior 7 and 7 Extreme Legends. Maybe I should do that. Ah, oh, they put Jian Wei in there, he's right next to Juge Liang, Wei Yang, Yu Ying, Zhang Fei. It's nice to see them in there. <laughs> cool Dynasty Warrior 6 costumes. It's really cool. So they did the same with Jiang, Jiang Wei. Also with Da Qiao. And... But not with the other ones, because they were new. So here are the Chilin warriors, or Kirin warriors, if you want to call them that. Jin, Sima Yi, Sima Shi, Sima Xiao. Then I Wang Yuanji Hmm Zhong Hui Ju 
Joy Geek. <laughs> Sorry about that. Juge uh, Don. Shahoba. Guo Huai. Yeah, these guys are still new fresh faces to me. Jin. I mean... Sima Yi has always been the one that I've always seen throughout the Dynasty Warriors series. Ah, uh, the background of the Chi Lin or Kirin. Now that's a good tattoo I would give myself. Ah, fascinating. Looks like he's edging for a fight. Or not. Oh, but he certainly is. Oh, she definitely is. I can see that. Same with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, how much does it take you to carry that sword? I mean, they've all changed since till now in Dynasty Warriors 9. I mean, I do miss their iconic original looks. I mean, in Dynasty Warriors 8, like from 8 and Extreme Legends, I mean, that's like their final look, like their final look of a form. Same with, uh, I mean, I want to throw this in there. Same with Mortal Kombat X. Like, it had all these final looks of each MK character. Like, like, first, I mean, MKX had the kind of same vibes to me, just like Dynasty Warriors 8 and Extreme Legends as well. Because it's like they show they're showing off their final look of a form and appearance. How they look in superior, superior or inferior, whichever one. I don't know. Now this is really cool. Special for Jin. I mean, after all, they're still a new face <laughs> ever since they got first introduced. Alright, here we go. Diao Chan. Lu Bu. Dong Zhuo. He's got that almost like demonic or vampire look. <laughs> Yuan Shao. Uh, the great line of nobility. Zhang Zhao. Always finding the goodwill of the heavens. Meng Huo. Ah, the Nanman King. Zhu Rong. The goddess of fire.
Oh, this is very nice. Seeing her with the whip, I mean, her original weapon was a... a... rod, like two rod poles, like two of them. It was a tempest rod. That's what, that was, I believe, her, her original iconic weapon. Lupu has always had his halberd since the beginning. But in 6, however, it got changed and that weapon was given to Lu Ling Chi, the daughter of Lupu. Oh, Dong Ho carrying that flail chain. I knew he would have a clone weapon as well. Neat. I mean, I think the other person who would carry that weapon is Dong Bai, the granddaughter of Dong Zhuo. Ah, it's nice to see Yuan Xiao's weapon right here. Same with Zhang Zhao's staff. Staff of the Gods? I mean, his weapon has always been had a change of looks throughout the years. Same with Meng Huo's weapon, those gauntlets that he's wearing. I mean, he did have a good change of look throughout the years. I mean, in 4, he was a little bit fat chubby. But in 6, however, he looked more buffier, like Hulk level buff. And he looks balanced in here in 7. Still the same. Buff. And that's something I haven't seen before. Well, the first time I saw him in Six Empires. You know, I was really disappointed to see not to see her in Six Empires. I don't know why they wouldn't put her. Zhu Wang? And her carrying those daggers? Huh. I mean it does fit her well. With the with the clone weapon, they're missing another other character, which is Zhuo Si. Zhuo Se. I mean, his first appearance came in, came out in Dynasty Warriors Five. They should have put a him in, like all the way. I don't know why they didn't put him in six, seven. But they did, he did make a reappearance again in 8 and Extreme Legends to 8 Empires and till now. To 9 and now 9 Empires. That's something I can't wait when it's released. I mean, if I ever get the chance to buy myself a PS4 or a PS5 which I was very close on getting my hands on. But they ran out of stock, but maybe someday in the future I will get my hands on a PS5 and a 4. If I get a 4, oh, you'll be surprised what kind of a list of gameplays I would put in. Like, you have no idea. Like, I would put in a lot of, lots of time and and patience to make a very long list of PS4 games that I like and love in my own opinion. Here's the special, the 10th anniversary special of the Elder Warriors. Well, other heroes. <laughs> it's very cool to see them in their iconic Dynasty Warrior 6 look. Very cool. I mean, it's... Dong Zhuo should have kept that weapon, that club, for himself, and he should have gave. He should have left that the fifth flail chain to his granddaughter and that sword Duan Shell that he's holding 
He should have kept that one for himself and the other one for his unavailed son or half brother, Yuan Chu. And Zhang Zhao should have kept his old staff, that one, and should have had his have the other staff to his other brothers, Zhang Liang and Zhang Bao. And that stone pillar that Meng Huo's carrying, he's holding. He should have kept that weapon for his for his brother or son, whichever one. Maybe daughter? Who knows? I mean Lu Bu's sky piercer weapon that he hold he held back in Dynasty Warrior 6. It was given to, it was given to Lu Ling Chi, so I can see why not to pass these weapons down to the next generation. So I can see why not. I mean John Liao's original weapon was a wyvern spear. Not the double axis. Mm. I mean, his weapon was never changed. Well, kind of, it did. I mean, I mean, I don't see his weapon anywhere. I think. Yeah, I think he's holding it somewhere. Yeah, most of those weapons that they had should have given to the next generation. Same with, same with these guys as well. They should have given their weapons to the next generation. Just like what they did to Lu Bu's uh, daughter. And Dong Bai's. And the granddaughter of Dong Zhuo. I mean, they should do the same as well. But for these weapons, I mean, Guan Ping had the Blue Dragon G. And Wang Zhong's uh, sword. Wei Yang's weapon should have been given to another person. Dang with my child's sword. And every other character as well. Oh, but not these guys. They're still, like I said, new look, new friend. Still new. Fresh faces to me. 